Hi, I'm Dr. Laura Brown, and this is the third in a set of videos where I'm sharing the approach, the data sets, and some of the tips that I used, uh, or you can avoid some of the mistakes that I made uh, when I was doing a project that was looking at modeling extreme weather or projecting extreme weather events for a local location based on um, climate change data sets or GCM data sets. This video, we are going to look at the net CD, CFD, CDF formats. Uh, we already did this one in part two, and now we're gonna look at how that, da that data is actually formatted. So we'll go to um, one of the data sets that we've just downloaded, and we're gonna look at uh, the precipitation data. So if we just double click on it and open it, it opens in um, a, a word um, or a um, text um, software package. And you can see that there is some English in there um, that talks about um, the downscaling and the data sets and, and things that were used. But you can also see that basically it is gibberish. It's not understandable by uh, humans. It's machine language code. So if that's not useful for us, so you need uh, something that can work with the data in this format, and that is data that is in net cdf. Whoa, huh. let's take that out. So, Unidata is the group that developed this format. And this is where you'd go to find out much more about that, um, to find out the documentation, what it's like, um, and actually the compatible software. But before we go here, what I'd like to do is uh, just show you really what this looks like. So we'll go here, but we're going to use images. And we're going to use this example here. So I'm going to use my little tool that I have to write on the screen as we've used before. And I'm going to use the white. So previously we downloaded data sets for Guelph. Good. We downloaded, let's say, precipitation data. We downloaded precipitation data from 1960 to 1990. So every day from 1960 to 1990, there was one cell of data. If we look at this down here, this would be day one. This time two would be day two. This would be day three. And so on up until the end of 1990. You have the X coordinates and the Y coordinates that are included. And say that this cell represents Guelph out of the climate models. So you have one cell that looks at precipitation data or temperature data um, all the way through time. So really what NetCFD does, it's multi-dimensional um, tables or uh, a matrix of, of tables, of data. And so you can't really take it out and just use it in Excel or in some sort of statistics package. You really have to use specialized software. Similarly, for when we used um, uh, area data, that would really be this whole area. So you can see that you have all of those cells of that whole area, as opposed to just one point. Um, and and the, the, of course, those um, data sets are much larger because you have all of that data. So that's really what net CF, CDF format is. When you look at this site, one of the things that, that they give is compatible software to work with these data to manipulate or display um, net CDF data sets. 
um, and they give a little bit of information. And you can see at the top of this screen, there are a number of free software packages. Uh, there might be one that, that you're more familiar with that you might wanna explore or look at. Um, certainly come to this site and check that out. There's also commercial or licensed packages. Um, and, um, and this gives you a little description or blurb about all of them. The one that we, I used in the last study is the Climate Data Operators or CDO. So this is the one that I used. It's fairly simple and straightforward. Um, basically, you put in the operator name, you put in your input file, your output file, and that's it. So you put in the operator name, which is copy. Let's pick a color that you can see, copy. You put in the input put file, the output file, and that's it. So even if you're not really familiar with coding or you're not that comfortable with coding, this uh, is a really easy one to use or to get comfortable with that kind of thing and to be able to get a good um, statistics or good data out. So that's it for about net CDF files. And uh, the next demonstration will be about actually using that software. Um, and we'll see you for the next video. Thank you for your time.